Wow, we're going to have a real life reptile encounter. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. I feel like he's going to fall off, he's not balancing. In this week's episode, we have come to Reptile Encounters to meet the most adorable wildlife creatures. Our special guide for the day is none other than Josh Cox, Australia's wildlife superhero who has made it his life's mission to teach kids how to protect and care for animals. With his passion for animal welfare and wildlife conservation, Josh's goal is to bring people closer to nature, to learn to respect our environment and understand the importance of protecting animals. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals that have dry, scaly skin. They usually lay eggs instead of giving birth to babies like we do. Some reptiles, like snakes and lizards, slither or crawl around while others, like turtles and crocodiles, have legs to walk or swim. Many reptiles do not chew their food. They swallow it whole. Reptiles, like crocodiles and alligators, can live on one meal for a few months at a time. Reptiles are some of the longest lived species on the planet. As scientists estimate that reptiles have been around for more than 312 million years. Did you know that dinosaurs are actually reptiles? Big that oh, looks like look. python. Oh, it's it's the skin of a snake. They shed it off. The third eyelid is called a nictitating membrane. Oh. It's like having goggles uh, to keep your eyes nice and clean. Saltwater crocodiles spend a lot of time hunting underwater. And so, their third eyelid acts like a see-through curtain. Even at this size, he has unbelievably powerful jaws. Can you believe that a crocodile's biting power is the same as a great white shark? So these scales on his tail are called scoot scales. So they work a bit like solar panels to help him regulate his temperature. I want to feel the end, I want to feel the end. He weighs or he weighs about 20 kilos. Holy moly! This is a carp python. His is name he poisonous. His name is Jake. He's not poisonous. So a lot of people uh, up through New South Wales and Queensland uh, probably have one of these living in their backyard. Can I put him on me? Yeah. Or do you want to have a go together? Oh sure, we'll have a go together. Let the head go. I want to go. I want to go by myself. After this, I'll go by myself. I'll hold it. Wrapping around my arm. It's too small. It's kind of wouldn't wrap. Very tight. Ooh! He's cool! I love little snakes. I love snakes. He likes 
Arsene, if they're poisonous, that's what I'm scared about. To see, that's what it does. Snake. And we'll uh, wrap around there. It's choking me. You'll be okay. You're so brave, Lucas. I'm so brave. Oh, Don't oh, panic. Now, oh, you, just, you need to be as steady as you can, like a tree. I don't get scared from snakes. No, because it, it choked me a little bit. I don't know, snake. It's not scary at all. No, because he, he was like, I saw he was going to grab my shirt because he's going near my neck. He's a very famous Australian lizard. He's a frilled neck dragon. All right, this is Drogon. Uh, keep watching, Lucas. Yeah, keep, watching, keep, watching, keep 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 watching. Check out that huge tail. He has very cool abs. You can use that big frill as a big threat. Huge tail. Ooh, feels nice. Feels spiky. Chill out just there. Yeah. Oh. oh, this is fun. I feel like he's gonna fall off. He's not balancing. Oh, okay. Uh, he, he likes me. Oh, he likes me. Hello, Drogon. He likes me. He's on the. Wait, what? What are the hair on mine? I think he likes me. But oh, he is. Since, since it's pointing up, and when you go down, it doesn't stop. This is a cute one. I like this one. There's the head. Wait, there's All two right. heads. Oh. Yeah, they look like they've got two heads. Why do you think they might look like they have two heads? To trick predators. To trick other animals, spot on. Yeah, we call it a decoy in uh, case okay, of distraction. All right. When we touch, just stick to the back end. Okay, it's exactly just... like his head. Careful, Vicky. kind of head. Well, they're about, well, she's probably 20 years of age, this lizard. Oh, that feels so nice. So he's barking for a couple of reasons. He's letting all the other birds know that Connor's in town. Uh, and the male and female barking owls also bark together. Have you seen him looking all around the room? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's got a really, really flexible neck. He can move his head 270 degrees. That's because his eyes don't move uh, side to side like ours do. So he has to move his head. Uh, he's got very, very good hearing. So you hear the heartbeat of a mouse on the ground. Okay, it's that good. Do owls eat? They do eat mice, so they do, do, do a really good job for us eating mice. Lucas, there we go. This is an Easter long neck turtle. All right, what do you think they need a long neck for? To eat stuff. Yeah, grab, grabbing their prey, okay? So they're a carnivore, okay? What do carnivores eat? Meat. Meat, yeah. And you can have a touch of that shell now. It's made out of the same material as your fingernails. Well, they use those claws to break their food open into smaller pieces. Known as a side neck turtle, he can tuck his head into the side, yeah. okay, for protection. Okay, the bottom part is his plastron, it's like his rib cage, and the top part's like his backbone, it's called his carapace. You wanna know something funny about turtles? Some of our freshwater turtles can breathe underwater. Do you know how they breathe underwater? Yeah, because they're secret. Not through they're their secret. nostrils, through their Bum. Through their bottoms, yes. Holy moly! <laughs> Pretend you're taking a bite. It's kind of like a hamburger. I think he's old. Yeah, he's pretty old. But they all have that. Chicken is a children's python. And I can pop it down here on the ground if you like. Okay, how do they move? They, oh, with they, their spine. They move. They yeah. have a really long spine. Well, they use their stomach muscles. Okay, to slither. He's in a bit of a ball at the moment. Why do they do that? Why do they do that? Oh, he's getting it. How do they get out so quickly? Though so for a snake, they're, they're safest when they're in a tight ball, in a tight space. When they're stretched out like this, a bird of prey could swoop down, pick you up and, and eat vulnerable. you. More vulnerable. Okay, yeah, they're more vulnerable. Oh, it feels so good. He's so cute. 
Can I pet his leg? Put, you put your hands under his belly. Pepper is so cute. Okay. Oh, it's so cool when it is. It feels so amazing. Amazing. So what's Pepper? A shingleback lizard. Shingly. It smells it smell yeah, like it's... The scales look like shingles, but they do have a lot of common names. They're also known as a pine cone lizard, a sleepy lizard, a lazy lizard, a two-headed lizard. lizard. What's he using his tongue for, I guess? Don't know? What do you use your nose for? Smells. Smelling music. Yeah, oh. He smells with his tongue. What's that? Oh, you have such a nice tail. I don't think it likes it when I pat under his chin because yeah. it keeps moving its head. Moving away, does it? Yeah, he just moves his head. But... It's just so nice. I'm Is this blue it. tongue? No, he's a Cunningham skink. Oh, they're so, so cute. I don't know they can look this cute. So they can use those spikes to wedge themselves in between rocks and then oh. predators can't pull them out. His tongue is so long. Oh, she opened his mouth. <laughs> I think he's bored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at his eyes. Mm -hmm. Do staring eye contest. Ready? Snake first, and and it was a big one. And then when it was Oliver's turn, he he did to have a turn first, and he holds the same snake as me. We hope you enjoyed this behind-the-scenes tour. We have fallen in love with the animals here, and hope you have too. <laughs>